Good morning, my name is Michael Richards. I'm the King of Arms of AssumeArms.com. It's a website located, obviously enough, at AssumeArms.com. And what we do is we register coats of arms for free. They're actually called Armorial Achievements, but uh, we're gonna call them Coat of Arms because that's really the way most people know them. So we register them for free, and I also do, I'm a heraldic artist, so I actually design shields for people as a commissioned uh, job as well. But if you got a free one, if you wanna register one that you already have, great. If not, you're going to come to me and try to commission me for one of these. And probably the first thing I'm going to ask you is how you want your shield divided. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is called divisions of the shield. We're going to have to talk a little bit about ordinaries. Ordinaries are basic shapes like this, this pale or this fess or uh, this bend or this bend sinister. Those are called ordinaries. They're very common uh, charges and a charge is a thing that sits on a shield. So when we talk about ordinaries, what we're talking about really is division of shield today, but they're based on ordinaries. So here we go. This first one, per pale. What it means is, is like a pale. So this is a pale. A pale is a big stripe down the middle. So to divide a shield per pale means to divide it like a pale. In the same way, per fess, to divide a shield per fess means to divide it like a fess, which is a bar sideways across the shield. So all of these, even though what we're about to look at, all, almost all of these are ordinaries, these are also the most common ways to divide the shield. So a bend divides it into two pieces. Uh, we have an upper and a lower. The upper is primary. And we also have a bend sinister. And the reason it's called a bend sinister, or per bend sinister, is that it's on the sinister side. This side, the right side looking at the shield, is the sinister side. The left side looking at the shield is the dexter side. It's also the default side. So if we have a bend, we don't have to say a bend dexter. We just say a bend because that's what it is by default. However, if we want to do sinister, we say, oh, we have a bend sinister. So it's a bend to the sinister side. Okay, there's also tierced, which means into three. Uh, pile, we have a pile, which is kind of like a huge triangle. So you can divide your shield per pile. You can do per saltaire, which is a uh, cutting it into four triangle-shaped wedges. This is one of my favorites, it's a gyrony. And gyrony, by definition, means eight slices, like a pie. Each of these triangles is called a gyron. So by default, gyrony is a gyrony of eight. You can also have a gyrony of 10 or 20 or five or two or whatever. Well, you can't have a gyrony of two, but uh, you can have a gyrony of some specific number, but the most common is gyrony of eight. Uh, and that's just called gyrony. This is an unusual one. Flaunch you don't see very often. It's just got two little indentations on the side. And this one here is the number one uh, shield division probably in the world. It's, it's the Spanish love this one because they do a lot of marshalling of arms and it just gets boxes and boxes and boxes. These get really messy really quick, but it gives you a nice four sectioned area to work in. You know, you put a charge here, a charge here, a charge here, or a charge here. But again, if it's done with marshalling, which is grouping multiple shields together, you put one coat of arms in this one, one in this one, one in this one, one in this one, and it gets really, really busy. But it's a very good division. It gives you four nice areas to work in. It's very, very common. Absolutely the, the most common bar none. The second most common division of a shield is per chevron. Uh, see that you see this one all the time. And now I want to touch on just a little bit. Each of these divisions of the shield can have the line that they take. So this is the line right here per pale, right? So if a shield is divided per pale, it can be divided per pale wavy like this. So I'm going to use chevron as my example, but anything can be divided with these variations on the lines, right? So this is a regular chevron. This is a chevron wavy. Over here is a chevron engrailed, and this is a chevron invected. Now this gets really hard and messy for most people. Um, I'm going to show you up one up close so you can see the difference. So invected, uh, the line, the thing that we're invecting is like taking a bite out of it. See, these look like little teeth taking a bite out of us. This is called a chief, and uh, this chief is invected. This chief has had bites taken out of it, okay? Uh, engrailed is exactly the opposite. It looks like it's been pushed in in places, like pushed in with, you know, little pointers all along it. So again, invected, taken a bite out of, and engrailed, pushed in. And, you know, you can come up with that whatever you want. That's just the way I remember them. 
And uh, we've got all kinds of other ones. We've got Nebulae. We've got Embattled, which looks like battlements on a castle. That's why it's called Embattled. We have Counter Embattled, which is embattled on both sides, but you'll notice they're also offset. So the high point here is matching the low point here. That makes it for some interesting stuff around the edges, but uh, it's still a, uh, that's a very common one as well. Dovetailed, just like it sounds, it's dovetailed. Raggly, well, it's just raggly, I guess. And indented is indented. So I want to talk about a couple other little shield divisions. Uh, one is per chief, uh, and that's a chief is usually an ordinary, but you can divide a shield per chief. I included this one, even though it's not really a shield division, but it's kind of common to do is a canton, and that's a little sort of augmentation area in the upper left or the dexter area. Uh, there are also diminutives of all of these. This is called a bendlet. It's smaller than the bend. Um, and, of course, uh, bars are also diminutive of... Uh, excuse me. Bars are diminutives of fesses, and chevronels are diminutive of chevrons. And then these are just a couple of other ones. This is another one, uh, another division line called Potent. And you'll see a cross Potent will have these little T-bars on all edges. So that ought to get you started with your basic shield divisions. Just, you know, how do you want your shield divided? What do you want it to look like? And uh, I hope that's helped. And again, go to assumearms.com, uh, ask me questions, send me email, call me if you want, and we'll help you get a coat of arms set up. Have a great day.